So look how they didn't want that message to get out. Okay. Um, yeah, the energy is real. It's almost like there's a spirit. Anytime we start talking about someone who's in opposition against you, Aries, a negative energy, a negative influence coming against you. It's like, th let me tell you this. Let me get deep for a second. I feel like there is some sort of, and I'm just going to say this, some sort of demonic energy or attachment to someone that is was dealing with the Aries collective. Um, and it's almost like that the person that you may even be in opposition against or who you feel like may have wronged you, done you wrong, trying to come against you, either one or two things, either you're using these spirits or these negative energies, trying to control and manipulate you and block something for you, or they're literally being controlled by this energy. Okay. They are being controlled by these energy. And, and so that's why you have this spiritual warfare because it's not the person that you're against it's the spirit that is controlling this person and so spirit can see right so if this person if they don't want the message to get to you we get all these technical difficulties so um this is nothing new it happens all the time but look at that at the bottom of the deck right when i said karma when the last video ended, the Wheel of Fortune came out and the Ten of Swords was at the bottom of the deck. So somebody is receiving some sort of negative lesson or karmic lesson here. And again, remember, karma is whatever you put out, you get back. Whatever you do is already done to you. So a lot of people feel like it's a punishment. We like to look at it as a lesson because if you learn not to treat someone or do someone in a way that you don't want to be do it to do done to, then you won't do it again, right? So it's a lesson. It's not so much as a punishment. A punishment just means you haven't learned anything from it and you're just, you know what I'm saying? You're just going to take that punishment again. But I mean, and that's just how you take, how I take the punishment thing because people get punished over and over and over again, but do they learn a lesson, you know? And if you take this as a lesson, hopefully you wouldn't do it again, right? But there's someone here who is hurting and I feel like it's because you extended compassion to them um, before in the past and the what they did to you does not equal or align what you did to them, okay? And so with the Wheel of Fortune showing up here and the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, it's like the judgment is here. And so spirit, this archangel is here. It's like, okay, now you're about to feel what you've done, right? Six of cups is reciprocated energy. Somebody here who was extending love and compassion, but they were met with this three of swords energy, being stabbed in the back, cheated on, hurt it on, betrayed, you know, all of that. And so why is this happening? Why is this person feeling this pain? Because of the wheel of fortune. If the wheel of fortune is the reason they're feeling this three of swords energy, that means that it came back around. That's all the wheel of fortune is. Is, is coming back around. And so at the bottom of the deck here, we have the 10 of swords. This is what's happening. Somebody here is feeling this betrayal. Okay. So tell us here, anything hidden from Aries that they need to see in the situation? What is everything is fine. <laughs> so what is heading the 10 of swords in the world card? Somebody is trying to pretend like everything is okay, but they're really hurting. Okay. I want to say they're really angry. They're really frustrated. They're really upset, but they're most importantly, they're hurting bad. Okay. Pretending like they're not because of some sort of ending. I want to say here, betrayal, um, that did not go well. It did not go as planned. Tell me about, yep, <laughs> look at that. Four of Cups. And look at the girl's shirt. It says over it on her shirt. <laughs> She's like, I'm over this. And everything is fine. Pretending like everything is fine and just ignoring everything. Like someone's pissed off. I want to say somebody's pissed off that you may have broken through something that was meant to really hurt you or destroy you. And even though you may feel like you're in this five of pentacles energy, I feel like this is strengthening you and you're going to come out of this. Tell me about this five of pentacles here for the energy that Aries is in. 
Yep, Knight of Pentacles. Slowly but surely, you're moving to more stability, security. You're growing your wealth. You're getting back anything that was lost from you. And then some. Clarify the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify this. We have the Nine of Swords here. So stress, anxiety here, worrying. But, you know, this is something that can be controlled too. We got the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Nine of Swords and the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> I'm hearing like somebody is realizing that the love was not real. So you may have loved someone, Page of Cups here. You may have loved someone like deeply, like from your soul. And this Nine of Swords energy is you realizing that somebody did not reciprocate that love. It really wasn't real. It wasn't real. Like the love you was giving was real, but what they were giving back was fake. Page of Swords energy. This could be immaturity. Um, somebody could be stalking, watching. But I feel like Aries, this is you learning a lesson. I feel like this is you learning a lesson. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody was very selfish with their energy, their time, their efforts. The King of Pentacles is very greedy. He's not really investing or putting out anything. He's only taking. So you have a love bomber here who may have been very immature here, who's stressing you out, and you've learned a lesson here. And in this learning of the lesson, you're coming to a realization that you were played. I mean, is that simple here? And I'm putting it simply, but it's like, it was a lot done to you, but you're realizing in simplest terms you were played because you were giving your energy to the highest capacity to somebody. Like you were investing your full heart and soul to someone. And that's why you're in this five of pentacles energy, just feeling depleted and drained by just even realizing that somebody left here. See, the Knight of Cups is a good charmer, a good talker, a romantic partner here who really puts it on. You do not see it coming. The only time you know that you're being played by this Knight of Cups is once they're gone, <laughs> okay? Because when they're there, everything feels great. Everything feels romantical. Everything feels amazing. And so that's why you're in this Nine of Swords energy. But here with the Knight of Pentacles, you are moving forward, Aries, slowly but surely. You're investing in yourself. You're learning what happened. You're realizing what happened, that you're playing with a, a selfish individual who only wanted to take. They didn't want to give. And when they were done receiving from you or taking from you, um, they left. Five of Wands here. They could have put you in competition with someone else, and you were in this relationship by yourself. Tell us about the five of pentacles here, the energy that Aries is in and what's coming here. Yeah, told you there's the 10 of wands that came out. So you're at your wits end. You're realizing that you may have been in a relationship by yourself. And the hermit here, you're becoming wiser here. You may be in solitude or hermit energy. This is Virgo energy. You could have been dealing with a Virgo or somebody here. But you're realizing that you may have been betrayed, mistreated here by this person here. and But you're becoming wiser from the situation at hand. So tell us about the Seven of Cups here, what they're trying to do. We have the star. Tell us about the Seven of Cups. This is what's coming towards you. More options. Six of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Seven of Cups, Star, Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Page of Wands. It feels like somebody was trying to make you feel like you were the star of the show or you were their wish fulfillment. or And you probably were for the star to be coming in upright. But at the same token, they made you an option in the Six of Pentacles. They led you on. They bread lump, breadcrumbed you only for them to move on to someone else or have already been talking to someone else. The Page of Wands talks about messages too. So there could have been texting or communication here um, with someone else. It's like a new person. Hmm. Let's see here. We got the Emperor and the Ten of Swords and the King of Wands here. What's coming to Aries next after this situation here, Spirit? What's coming towards Aries?
It's a lot of cards. I'm going to take them with shuffling. Yeah. All right. So those are just two cards. We got the chariot here on top of the eight of swords. You're getting out of some sort of illusion here, or you're getting out of this stuck energy, unable to move forward. You kind of know like when like when heartbreak first hits or like those first few months of realizing that you were played or you were some sort of betrayal, you really are kind of in this not able to move forward for a second because like so many thoughts are racing through your mind. You're trying to figure out what was true, what was real, what was fake, what was a lie, what was the truth, you know? And so you're just really unable to move forward. You're kind of just stuck in these emotions here and this overthinking and obsessing and things like that. And it just kind of has you restricted. It takes a lot of strength to pull yourself out of a dark place. And it seems like you're doing that areas here with the chariot. OK, you're you're really going to be able to pull yourself out of this. And that's what's coming towards you. And with the chariot energy comes success. And the chariot is like, you know, transmuting these energies here. If you see, you have the dark and the light sphinx here. I can't ever say that word sphinx. And you're transmuting that. And this is what's helping you move forward. You need both to move forward. You need both to manifest, realize that. And we have the Four of Swords here. So you're going to be healing. Tell us what's coming towards Aries after this situation. There's the Ace of Cups that wanted to come out. Tell us what's coming towards Aries. The Death card. So the ending is bringing a major transformation for you. With the Three of Wands, it's like a lot of positive energy. This is like waiting for your ships to come in. The manifestations of creations of a new life or something more exciting is coming towards you. And you're just waiting for it now, um, even manifesting it because this has ended. Something has ended or you've gotten yourself unstuck or out of a rut or out of your head. Look at that. So from the three of wands comes in the four of wands. So that's the manifestation, happiness, okay, joy, celebrations could be marriage or relationship for some of you, but because you got yourself out of this stuck place and picked yourself up and moved forward and ended this situation, right? You went through this transformation or this dark night of the soul here and out of this negativity, it's like literally shows you how you use this light and this dark energy. I'm going to show you here. So we got the Eight of Swords and we got the Death card here. Let's say this represents the shadow self or the, sh the um, shadow work that you're doing after this difficult situation. And then it brings you more into a positive alignment here. And then what you're manifesting comes towards you. But the thing is, you needed this energy. You needed this to get here. And that's just the truth. You needed to be here because if you were never here, you would have never pulled yourself out of such a dark, you know, you would have never had no need to pull yourself up higher or elevate yourself. You would have been comfortable where you're at. And so sometimes these really, really dark spaces or places that we go through, these betrayals, these hurt, these pains are so much necessary for us to reach the happiness, the fulfillment, the joy, the realizing that you deserve so much more. That's usually what comes after a really, really bad heartbreak is realizing your worth. Like, wow, I didn't realize that, you know, I was deserving of way more than I was getting, but there's always that one situation, that one person here that makes you realize that, um, that you may have been settling. So, all right, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you guys get to the part two <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.